I decided to record this video a day early since I was recording late videos. Um, this would be 64 months since I started HRT and as of yeah it's mind you this is video is a day early being recorded um it's my birthday actually so yeah other than that um my breasts from the lotion which is I've created a weird concoction with the lotion this last time um using like herbs and spices that have phytoestrogenic properties along with soybean oil and um, coconut oil and it's helping so seems to be helping um, I don't know if you can really see but it has been helping um, a little bit but it's kind of hard to tell because the fullness isn't really full where it used to be um, so nothing I can do about that until I can get back on the HRT so um, other than that facial hair is still coming in um, too fast way too fast I need to get the rest of it removed I'm still debating whether or not to get um, like one of those hair removal devices like the no-no or a home laser kit like the flash and go or something similar um, cuz getting one of those it's a one time price you can use it for the rest of your life until the machine stops working until the device like completely stops working um, then I've been hearing more good things about the no-no that you use it on the hair like if, like if you do your face like if it's really long on your face and or any body hair you want to shave it you, you can shave it first then use it to get the bulkness of the hair off but if you don't you can still use it but for me hearing you use it every other day for a couple of weeks or so then you can completely stop using it the no-no and the buffing pads then you see how much hair actually is coming back then you use the system on those hairs then you keep doing this treatment then you just stop to see um, like for several weeks or so and you stop and you let it grow and see how much hair is coming back what's gone and what's not and after a certain amount of time my hair that using the no-no the hair is actually permanently gone then if you get any flyaway hairs like hairs that just randomly pop up then you just treat those in how it's supposed to be treated so I'm really thinking of getting one as soon as I get enough money for it. Um, luckily, um, my mom has made the appointment for the attorney, so it's this coming Thursday. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the exercises I've been doing has been helping. My butt is bigger and not really like the fully on the sides but the overall it's like it's kind of on the sides it curves like this like if I it's like on the sides it curves like that 
on the outer edge and yeah like I can say the outer edge through the outer parts through here then the middle part right here kind of dent like dent it in kind of that's slowly filling in the muscle slowly filling in in that area but that's the really hard area to actually work but it's getting there my hips haven't really gained because um, I haven't been corset training for a while I just did a little bit today but it's made everything look really weird and uneven like the bottom half smaller and then it's the upper half bigger on my body so started doing corset training again a little bit hoping that will help and hopefully I can get back on the HRT fully and that will help um, with everything other than that um, no significant real big changes I noticed since using the lotions mixture um, the hair down here on my tummy under the belly button down towards the pubic bone that whole area um, the hairs have not really grown in but what was already grown in so that seems like it's um if I look yeah just a few hairs so I noticed phytoestrogens is working on other bodily hair parts making it grow really slow but on my facial hair it's not really affecting it much so it sucks but and I noticed other things I've been doing um, it's like hypnosis it's a user on YouTube simply hypnotic I randomly found their videos looking up see if there's any hypnosis things that so I know some hypnosis things does work when you listen to it with headphones and whatnot or when you just generally listen to it but it works better if you have headphones on and it I know there's a lot that works and there's some that doesn't I found a lot of I went to their YouTube channel looked up their videos and whatnot and yeah been listening to that and I noticed that has helped with like body parts changing a little bit but the ones that I have listened to and whatnot but I noticed my lips they have one specifically he did one specifically for fuller lips um, I noticed using phytoestrogen mixtures and the lotions and combination with that I noticed my lips especially the bottom lip through here is fuller it's kinda weird but I notice it's fuller yeah but no other bodily changes so um and I got some new music steampunk music from the band um Clockwork Dolls. I contacted them a few weeks ago about one of their albums and they ended up giving it to me for free. So that was awesome. So I have two of their albums that I got for free that they gave me. So that was awesome. Directly from the band. So that was kind of cool. And it made me go all nerdy. Yeah. Like a nerdgasm, if you can call it. Like a nerdgasm. It was awesome. But other than that, um, I noticed. I mentioned my last video. One of my last videos. The social anxiety. And my Asperger's has been getting a little bit worse the urinary incontinence symptom of Asperger's has really gone down 
like were we not happening as much like it's almost gone so I'm not sure what's going on there but the social anxiety has gotten a little bit worse and the Asperger's the certain symptoms it's like that reserved kind of like leave me alone uh, kind of a feeling like like really nervous kind of like don't want to be around anyone like can't socialize and can't really yeah like it's really hard to explain how I feel how yeah it's like a but it seems like it's gotten a little bit worse and I don't know exactly what to do about it um, and I don't want to really take any medications for it because that's something I really do not want to do at all so I'm just doing what I can in this situation so So I just have to do the best I can. And I'm still been thinking about whether or not joining a dating site and getting into a relationship and whatnot. Because it's gonna be really hard because my Asperger's and social anxiety where it's where it's at right now, it's like it's really affecting me where I really having a hard time with it and being alone does help but yeah so that's why it's really hard for me to, a lot of times because it's different for every person who has Asperger's because there's high functioning all the way to the bottom of the end of the scale where it's not high functioning I'm somewhere in the middle I think like the middle lower end kind of yeah it's really hard to explain because it uh, yeah but other than that it's been hard dealing with that So, yeah, other than that, um, can't wait until this appointment so I can see how, what's going to go on and how the appeal is going to work for the social security and yeah, and whatnot. So, other than that. I'm doing the best I can in this situation. So yeah. Um if you notice this right here, if you notice that it's a scar. Um you can say it's an acne scar, but it happened around when I was getting laser hair removal done. You know they were doing the upper parts through right here on my eyebrows and it was around that time I noticed that that scar ended up being there so it's a, I think it's a combination of both but nothing I can do about that so so yeah I'm doing the best I can my books haven't really been working on it but it's been going good so what I have gone so far other than that, um, a few, it was like a month ago, I think it was, one of the songs I was working on, um, that's, it was a steampunk song I was working on, I think I mentioned it in one of my older videos, um, I've recorded parts of it, um, the guitar part, the vocals on one version of it and I was doing it 
like a steam version the song is called steam girl if you go to my second youtube channel i did an acoustic version just me playing the guitar and singing the lyrics to it so there's the version with the guitar and lyrics and i did is like a steam version it's like steam girl steam edition that's what it's called it's where it's the guitar and the lyrics then i added backing vocals and steam sound effects to it and yeah so that's kind of cool the way it sounds so far I just have to finish the song yeah so there's that I've been doing and whatnot so other than that I've been doing good in this situation hopefully things get a lot better and if I do join a dating site um sorry for me just rambling on and on going from back and forth through topics it's part of the Asperger's and yeah but anyways joining a dating site I would have um, if I do which I'm really thinking of doing it just to find someone um find that perfect someone they'd have to know I'm a trans lesbian to start with and they have to know I have Asperger's and social anxiety and whatnot and accept me for that and be able to live with that and support me through all this and everything of who I am so other than that I haven't really been thinking much about things so yeah just getting by the best I can and hopefully it gets better I know it will so until next video um comment rate and subscribe and click the link down there for my blog if you haven't checked that out I will get some posts new ones as soon as these videos are uploaded and yeah until I'm caught up on everything then there'll be more on my blog so look out for that